Well, at least now the motors work for this angle anyway. So now I'll just set up the scene and get going as quick as I can. Right, so I had to stop for a second because a father and son and what looked to be the granny came along to throw stones and I'm just like, oh God, please don't do this to me. So, stop recording. I was about, I was recording probably about 15 minutes into a 25 minute long. It was half, it was, it was nearly halfway up. So I had to start it from scratch again. So hopefully this time, hopefully, hopefully. It had started raining, that's why they've gone. So uh, I was only spitting. So I cleaned the lens, started again. The conditions are unbelievable. I was given out in the van on the way up that the conditions here are never great. Yes, yes. And the clouds are moving so fast. This, this is going to be a really, really good one for how I've composed it, how the movement's going. It's all coming together really nicely. I have just seen a convoy of clouds. Best way I can describe it, just look at these clouds here. <laughs> they came from behind the mountain and went that way, like a convoy, like, like, it, like one of those long trains you see in America, but the clouds. Oh, what light, what light I'm being treated to tonight. Couldn't have planned this. This was just one of those, uh, I, I, have, I, I have it on the list, but if nowhere else better to go, Delighted it came here. Delighted it came here. But I'm only going to get the one time lapse. I don't think I'm going to be able to get a second one. I'll try, but we'll see when this finishes. Once again, in a dilemma, you're looking at the screen. This is the thing I don't like about the A7 III is the screen, the screen, the screen is not accurate. It's always shown that it's underexposed by a good bit. So I don't know whether or not to raise the exposure. So I'm probably thinking not just to be on the safe side because uh, the whole forward's in shadow. But when I get on the computer, it'll probably look all right. But the only thing is, uh, it had dropped down to like minus 0 0.7 off a stop, then it went down to minus one, then it went down to one and a third on their stop. So I've uh, progressively changed the shutter speed. Even though I talked about I was gonna do aperture priority, I didn't think I would need it here. I was gonna go to the other side of the lock and I was gonna need it there, but I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to do that now. So um, you end up changing it, but you know, I'll be able to sort that out in LR time lapse. So. But it's just one of those things you're constantly fighting with yourself going, should I, shouldn't I? And it's all because for me anyway, it's for the Sony A7 III. The screen is just not accurate when it comes to ex exposures. I shot headshots recently and they looked fine on the, on the camera and I brought them into the computer and they were like three quarters of a stop overexposed. Now, not enough to clip the highlights, thankfully, but still, I should have seen that in the camera. <laughs> Genius me. Uh, so when you set up a time lapse on this slider, it tells you how many photos you're going to be taking. And I just noticed I'd taken over 350. And I was like, it still hasn't reached the top, but I hadn't set it to go the full way up to the top. I'd set it to here. And I just kept moving back and forth, back and forth. I thought I was going to finish further up, like about there. But really and truly, <laughs> I shot an extra 100 photos, 100, yeah, 100 photos at a five second interval, so that's 500 seconds. So I shot for an extra 10 minutes, nearly, <laughs> that I didn't need to shoot. Oh, oh, this happens to me every time. I'm a disaster. Duffer the bluffer. And I know some of you will say, but Mark, you can still use that 150 photos. You can't, because it came to a full stop and it just looks kind, for me, it looks weird. Don't ever stop things. Don't start it before it starts. So if you're doing a movement of something, always have it moving. So when it starts into the frame, it's already moving. So cut the first two frames out of it. So cut the first two photos out, cut the last two photos out. So it never actually fully finishes. So it hasn't, it never starts and it never finishes. It already is moving. Makes your videos way better. That goes for absolutely everything. Um, so yeah, there are just 150 photos that just have to get dumped. So uh, I can't, I'm not gonna be able to shoot a time-lapse on the other side, so just, Time to pack the gear away. It's an early though. It's like it's not even nine o'clock yet because sunset's now at a quarter past nine. So home early tonight. Nice one.